Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop and I am on and excited to announce our Crafty Love Challenge for May 2020. Well, we knew we were going to do something in honor of MS, in honor of multiple sclerosis. For those of you that don't know what multiple sclerosis really is, it's an autoimmune condition that causes all of the protection around our nerves to disintegrate. And as a result of that disintegration, there becomes a lack of communication between the brain and different parts of the body. And it affects each recipient differently. Uh, someone like our very own Pat Sweeney, who has lived with this since she was like 18 years old, has a multitude of very complicated and complex issues and challenges as a result of this illness. And one of them is hands, right? So it radically affects the hands because the communication between the brain and the hand and also all the nerve breakdowns don't just make like grasping a pen difficult. It actually like makes it painful. And on top of that, Pat has, and I can share this with you because she's very open with it. Like my mother has lost, you know, more than 80% of her vision because of this illness. And yet she perseveres. And I think that's remarkable. I don't know if you all remember that beautiful pocket letter Miss Pat made for me for my birthday challenge, but I was absolutely astounded that she was able to create that for me regardless of these challenges. Now, I live with scleroderma. I too, just like those of us on here with fibromyalgia, know what that, some of what that pain is like. I told you all my recent flare up, my hands were so swollen, I couldn't even bend my fingers. But that's not an everyday flare up for me. That comes and goes. That's an everyday problem for Miss Pat. And despite that, she creates. She creates and she crafts. And, and that's on top of having only 20% of her vision maximum. So. That's just a remarkable thing in my mind. But regardless, I also wanted to do this challenge to just raise awareness of what MS is and how it can actually radically impact people who are living with it. Many people in our community have either recently been diagnosed or have been diagnosed with some form of autoimmune disease. And the more we learn about these things, the greater capacity we have to support and um, better enable people in our community. And that's what this challenge is about. So, you know, originally we were going to be sending Miss um, Pat something like a Memdex. But, you know, the, over the last couple of months, lots of people have been mailing her Memdexes and they've been helping by making her these amazing flowers. These are paper strip flowers or just sending the strips for them because she is making cards for the MS Society in her community. So that wasn't going to do. But here's what I was thinking about. You know, I told you all how I like stamping, right? But it really hurts my hands. And anyone living with fibromyalgia knows what I mean, right? Like it, or RA, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, or you have that horrible kind of arthritis that, that is very aggressive, you know what that pain is. And yet I love to stamp, and I love to have stamped images. And while I was doing it in the last couple of weeks, I thought a lot about Pat. And I thought, oh my goodness, if I'm in this much pain, how the heck does she do this? And you know, no amount of pain medicine ever masks this stuff. Let's just call it the way it is. Doesn't matter if it's Tylenol, doesn't matter if it's Advil, doesn't matter if it's a narcotic, it doesn't work. So die cutting for Pat is tough. She does have a die cutter, but it's excruciating. And she can stamp, but it's gonna hurt her hands like no one's business. So I was thinking, since Pat is still making, despite all of these things, the best way we could support her is by sending her die cuts or stamped images that are ready to go. Because just like I sent her Memdex bases, the whole reason I do that is so that they're done and then she doesn't have to worry about it. She can just decorate them. Well, it's the same thing for die cuts and stamps, y'all. If she has a bunch and she doesn't have to die cut them out, then she can use her energy and, and her pain levels to actually make. So I decided this is what we're gonna do for this month's Crafty Love in support of our awareness of MS. I'm going to ask you to send four sets of die cuts or stamped images, your choice. So it can either be die cuts or stamped images, but I want four sets. And in those four sets, I would like a minimum of six pieces. So in other words, if you die cut out a cat uh, as one of the items, then you have to die cut a minimum of six. So six for each for a total of 24 pieces. And the reason I chose that number is it's enough to give Pat a decent stash but it's not so much that you can't just send them in an envelope. I know because I've been doing them me with the die cut swap. So I have a good sense of like what we can put in an envelope and mail and I don't want anyone's health to be at, at risk. So uh, 24 die cuts or 24 stamped images can still go in an envelope 
with just some stamps and that saves you all from having to go to the post office. I was thinking this through very carefully. So again, I'll put all the information down below, but it's very simple. I'm asking you to die cut out either um, uh, four different types of dies or four different types of stamped images or a combo of both. Um, and that each one, there's at least six of each one. So it's either a total of 24 die cuts or a total of 24 stamped images. And that you send them directly to Miss Pat Sweeney so that she will be receiving these. Um, now I wanna share with you her favorite colors are autumn colors. I deliberately chose it for the thumbnail. You noticed it's all her favorite colors that I have in there. Uh, but besides autumn type colors, and by the way, orange is the official color for MS. So it's another reason that Pat loves it. But besides orange and all the burnt umbers and all the fall colors that Pat loves, she also really likes purple. So that's another option, a little heads up. For those of you wanting to know, well, what kind of die cut should I send Pat? Well, you all know she's a huge fan of cats. I personally do not own any cats um, dies, but I do own a cat stamp. Uh, so anything to do with cats, she's going to love. But when she built my pocket letter, she also, you know, the other thing you may want to keep in mind is to send her some of those difficult, I had some handy here to show you. Anything like small and more difficult would be really helpful too. So like for instance, any of the fronds we use when we're making cards, like those background pieces that I used to find tough, anything like this that is smaller, um, things that are tough on your hands. So I had a few things ready here to show you, just to give you an idea of what might be really useful for Pat. Like I know she'll want cats for sure. So if you've got cat dyes and cat stamps, please send her some of those. But you see y'all, these are actually really hard for those of us with hand issues. I can do them now because it all came down to the dye. I told you that once you have a better quality dye, you can do it, but they're still harder on my hands. So anything like foliage, floral pieces cut out that are harder, you know, to pokey out, anything harder to pokey out would be great to send her that she could use in card making because she makes a bunch of cards for the MS Society. She also really likes to do pocket letters. So that might help you to think about the kind of dyes you could send her. The other thing I'll mention is that we're coming into summer. So any summer based items, you know, things that remind you of summer, seahorses, beach umbrellas, things like that would probably be really useful so she can do some summer crafting. So again, I'll put all the information down below, but this month's crafty challenge, crafty love challenge is in support of MS and in support of Pat Sweeney. And you will be making for her uh, sets, four sets of die cuts, four stamped images for a total of 24 pieces that you will send to her. And as always, there'll be a $25 gift card at the end. And I will put Pat Sweeney's mailing information down below so that you can just get your package off to her. I really hope everyone will support this. I think what's really important, and I think we're learning this during this crisis, is that while we love to make beautiful things, we also like to craft with a purpose. And this is just another way to do that. So I'm hoping everyone will come on board and will flood Miss Pat. Now, by all means, if you want to do more than six, please do so. I just put six as the minimum to make sure that Pat gets enough to create. But if you're like me and you like die cutting, by all means, just die cut away. Don't hold yourself back. Pat can use as many die cuts as you can send. All right, y'all. I'll put all the information down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if not, thank you so much. And I can't wait. I'm looking forward, so looking forward to the die cuts that you send Pat. And you know, Pat doesn't make videos, but you know what she does do always? She always circulates photographs of everything everyone sends her as her way of being grateful. And she often will ask like Susan or myself or Donna or Kayla or someone to make a video for her uh, because she always wants you all to know how much she appreciates your support. So believe me, your die cuts will not go unnoticed. We will make sure of that. All right, y'all. Thanks so much again. I'll see you later tonight. Bye for now.